So if you need to do some maintenance to the drum brakes on your 05 and newer Tacoma, this PowerStop OE replacement six lug brake drum and pad kit will be the one to check out. Now this will be a direct replacement to your factory rear drum brakes that will up the life and performance of your braking power. Now this kit will come with everything that you need, including the brake pads or shoes, drums, all of the springs, clips, pins, and all of the hardware that you need in order to make the swap, uh, making it a pretty inclusive kit. Now this will make it a great choice for the Tacoma owner who just needs to do some maintenance on the rear and wants a complete kit and isn't necessarily in need of a high performance option. Now getting into the construction, the brake pads or shoes will have a carbon fiber ceramic pad compound that will offer similar qualities to the factory pads with little to no dust or noise, minimizing cleanup and any annoyance that you may hear when stepping on the brake pedal. This will also feature heavy duty cast iron G3000 drums that will hold up to high temps and resist any damage or warping or cracking along the way. Now they'll also have a silver zinc dichromate plating uh, to enhance any rust resistance, giving it again that long lifespan on your Tacoma. Now getting into the price, as you can imagine, this will be more on the affordable side, being an OE replacement at roughly $250. Now what I like about this option is the fact that it comes separate from the front in comparison to some other choices on the page that will offer an entire kit. Now this kit will offer you some flexibility in choosing what you would like to pair with this for the front or just let you complete your maintenance at your own pace. Now these again will be a factory style option, keeping it very simple and to the point, yet still effective as to where some other more expensive options may offer a little bit more performance if you're really working the brakes hard and need that extra longevity in a high performance kit. However, if you're daily driving your Tacoma or you're even off-roading it and you just need to do a little bit of maintenance to the rear, then this is the kit to choose. Now, install will be a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, which is to be expected, and it should take you about two hours to get the job done with the right hand holds. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna hand it over to one of our guys in the shop. They're gonna show you that process step by step. So that wraps it up for me. Let's get into the install. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, and diagonal cutters, a couple flathead screwdrivers, 21 millimeter socket, our adjustment tool, and our spring clip remover tool. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace your rear brakes on your Tacoma, so let's get started. So our first step is gonna to be to remove our tire. Now stock, this is gonna be 21 millimeter socket for your lug nuts. We have aftermarket ones on ours. So I'm gonna be using a spline key on a 19 millimeter socket to get these off. So now that we have our wheel removed, we can go ahead and remove our drum. Now, if you get lucky, you might be able to just wiggle it out. If not, we can go around the perimeter with a hammer and try to break it free. Or we have these two threaded holes here that we can take an M8 bolt. We'll put it through on both sides, crank it down evenly, and that'll start to push our drum out away from the hub. So now we're gonna use the bolt method. So we'll thread our M8 bolt into our two holes. And I'll take a 13 millimeter socket and we're just gonna tighten down evenly. Now before we get in here and start taking things apart, it would be a good idea to take some pictures from all the different angles so you know how it goes back together. Or you could leave the other side assembled so that you have kind of a template to go off of. So first we're gonna be removing our longer lower spring. So we can get in there with a pair of diagonal cutters, grab on, and we'll pull it around to unhook it. So 
So next we're gonna be tackling the spring on the left side. It's gonna be right above that spring that we just took off here. So we'll do the same thing, get in there with diagonal cutters and pop our spring out. So now we can go ahead and remove our top spring right underneath of our cylinder. So we'll grab our diagonal cutters, grab on, and pull this out. So now we can come to the bottom and disconnect our e-brake bracket. You can just pull out on that. Now we can remove our spring clip on our left side. So you can get a spring clip tool at your local auto parts store. We'll push that down, grab the pin in the back, Just twist that off. And then we can pull our pin out of the way, slide our first hat out, and unhook it from our clip at the bottom. So now we can go ahead and fully remove our spring at the bottom, and then we can tackle our next spring clip on the right side. So we'll get our spring clip tool once again, grab the pin on the back side, twist that off. And we'll pull our pin out. And we can slide out our shoe and our assembly. So now with our shoe removed, we can disconnect our e-brake cable. So we can pull back on our spring and slide that out. So now with our shoes removed, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and transfer our brackets. So we have these two horseshoe clips that we can get a flathead screwdriver on and pop those off. And then we can get that bracket onto our new one. And now with our clips removed, we can remove our two brackets. And then we can remove our spring, pop right out of that hole for us. So now we can assemble our new adjuster and spring. So we can slide this piece off, and then we'll be untwisting this. And then on our new spring, we'll match it up to the orientation of our old one. And we'll slide our first piece through, and then screw this back in. And we'll install our other side once again. And we can get this on our new shoe. So now we can take our adjuster. This notch is gonna slide into this notch here. And then we'll slide the end of our spring into the third hole from the top. And then we can take our brackets. The one with this post is gonna go on the underside. And then our other one is gonna go on the top. So now that we have our brackets reinstalled, we can install our horseshoe clips. That's just gonna slide right over the post. And then we'll take a pair of diagonal cutters to close up our other side. So the diagonal cutters were slipping a little bit, so I grabbed myself a bigger pair of pliers to finish this one off. So now we can do the same thing for our top post. Slide our clip into place. Then we'll grab pliers on one side. And now with our brackets reinstalled, we can get this back on the truck. So now we can reconnect our e-brake line. That's gonna slide right in this little groove here. 
You might want to get yourself an extra set of hands for this. It's a little tough to do just by yourself. But we're going to be pulling back on our spring here and then sliding that into this groove. So now we're going to be installing our spring clips so we can slide our shoe into place. And then there's going to be a hole on the back side here that we can slide our pin through just like earlier when we took it out. Then we can slide our spring over and our clip. And then you're going to want to push that down and twist on it. Once again, you can use your tool. It's a little harder putting it back on. But you just push in, twist it until it locks into place. So now we're going to be looking at our two smaller springs. The one with the longer coil is going to go on the bottom of our shoe. We're just going to hook it and let it hang for now. And then we can get our other side shoe and our bracket. We're going to slide this hole over our post. And then the inside of the fork on our adjuster is going to slide into this groove and over our silver tab back here. And then once again, we can take our rod and stick that through our backside. And then we'll get our spring clamp, slide that over, put some pressure, and twist it to lock it into place. So now we can connect our bottom spring. The spring is going to go underneath this black tab here. So I'm going to grab a pair of diagonal cutters, grip onto the other end, and slide it into our groove here. Now we can grab our orange spring and connect it into this hole down here. We'll grab those diagonal cutters once again. So now we can reinstall our lower bracket. These two teeth are gonna slide in here. And then our hole is going to go over this mounting provision here. So now we can install our white spring on the bottom. So it's going to hook into our bracket right here and then wrap around our post here. So now we can take our yellow spring. We're going to be hooking that onto the edge of our silver bracket. So now we can grab the other end of our spring and we're going to stretch it into this hole. It's going to be the second under our spring clamp. So now with all of our springs locked into place, we can go ahead and install our drum. Now we can throw a couple lug nuts on half tight just to hold it in place for us. And then now we can repeat that same process on the other side. So now that we have both sides done, we can go ahead and adjust our shoes to have a little bit of drag on our drum. So we're going to come to the back side. There's going to be a grommet that we can pop off, and then we'll get our adjuster tool in there and get this so that there's a little bit of drag on our drum. 
So now coming to the back of our drum, we have this little grommet that we can just pop out. And now inside, we can take our adjustment tool and we're just gonna feel around until we can feel the groove. And then these clicks are gonna be that gear turning. It's gonna push out our shoes. And you can feel on the drum. And now we have some drag, so we know we're good. We can put our grommet back into place and do the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the PowerStop OE replacement brake drum and pad kit for the rear of your 2005 to current Tacoma. Thank you for watching, and remember for all things Tacoma, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.